Welcome to the OTC Remote Studios. This evening, we're going to show you how to do coding. Coding, which is also known as adaptive data or adaptive strategies and or relearn, we're going to show you how to use your Autoboss, Pegasus, and Genesis to do coding on several European vehicles. The first vehicle we're going to look at is a Volvo XC90. On the Volvo XC90, I'm going to show you how to do st steering angle inclination or steering angle coding. Steering angle coding and yaw rate coding and lateral accelerometer or lateral accelerometer are listed under anti-lock brakes. You would think it would be under steering angle, but it's not. So I'm going to go to the brakes module. When I tap on the brakes module, it will now list on the top anti-lock brakes and steering angle. However, once again, steering angle and yaw rate sensor and accelerometer and lateral accelerometer are all listed under anti-lock brakes. So I'll tap on anti-lock brake. It will now come up with our diagnostic test menu. Then I'll tap on calibration. When I tap on calibration, up comes a warning screen or instruction screen. The instruction screen is saying that you are going to do the testing if the vehicle is equipped with a DSTC or dynamic stability and traction control module. It's also giving you a warning that you need to have the vehicle on a flat surface. And then tells the key must be on. And then I'm going to turn the steering wheel either to the left or the right 15 degrees and then begin my test. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that. So I'm going to tap on the OK button, accepting the set of instructions. And now to begin our test, I'm going to go ahead and physically turn the ignition key on. And I'll turn my steering wheel 15 degrees back to center. And then I'm going to tap on steering angle calibration. Tap on OK. And the calibration is done. We'll go to pressure sensor tw 12 calibration. Remember, I've already turned the steering wheel once and the key is on. I'll press OK. Calibration is done. I'll go to lateral accelerometer calibration. I'll press OK. The calibration is done. I'll go to longitudinal accelerometer calibration. Press OK. We've calibrated successfully. I'll go to yaw rate sensor calibration. Press OK. My calibration is completed. Then I'm going to go to roll rate sensor calibration. And I'll press OK. And the calibration is successful. Now the reason I would do any one of these calibrations is because I've either replaced that T DTSC module or I've replaced the yaw rate sensor or any of the lateral accelerometer and longitudinal accelerometer sensors. Now that I've completed that test with the Autoboss, let's go ahead and move on and test that with the Pegasus. Okay, we're going to show you the same test that we did on our Volvo XC90 using our Pegasus. Our Pegasus, as you recall, is wireless to the vehicle. The VCI is on dock from the handset. The cable you see attached is our video cable allowing you to see the video on your TV screen. And once again, let's remember that the steering angle and the bell rate and the accelerometers and the pressure sensor relearn tests or coding tests are all listed under anti-lock brake. I'm now at the anti-lock brake module, so let's go ahead and start our testing. To do that on the Pegasus, I'll tap on special tests. Now what comes up is our group selection that shows five calibrations available for dynamic stability and traction control module. So I'll tap on that. And you'll notice that I have the same five tests I saw on the Autoboss. But we're wireless to the vehicle this time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on the first one at the top, lateral accelerometer calibration. And when I do, it's going to come up with a warning screen. The same warning screen we saw with Autoboss. Telling us that this is available for dynamic stability and traction control modules. That the vehicle must be on a flat level surface. And that we are going to turn the steering wheel with the key on 15 degrees to the left or 15 degrees to the right. And we'll be doing this for the yaw rate sensor, the lateral accelerometer, as well as the lateral accelerometer and the steering angle. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue. The same set of instructions, another set of instructions comes up with the actual procedure, which we just talked about. It must be on a flat surface and that we must also have um, our, turn our steering wheel 15 degrees to the left or to the right. I'll hit continue. And I'm going to turn the steering wheel first. Key is on. I'll hit continue. I'll continue once again, and 
our test is now done. Our calibration is successful. I'm going to hit continue. We'll move on to longitudinal accelerometer calibration. Same warning screen you saw earlier. I'll hit continue. Once again, the same warning screen again. And the final warning screen once again. Hit continue. And in a moment, our calibration will be successful. Now I hit continue to go to the next one. I'll go to the pressure sensor 12 calibration. Same warning screen we saw earlier with the uh, longitudinal accelerometer. Tap continue. The same actual warning screen again. Tap continue once more. The third warning screen and now the calibration will begin. And our calibration is successful. I'll hit continue. I'm now going to go to sting, steering angle calibration. Up comes the same set of warning screens where it tells me to turn my steering wheel again 15 degrees to the left or to the right and that the vehicle must be on a flat surface. I'll tap on continue with the second screen of warning information or instructions. I'll tap on continue for the third and final warning instructions. And then I'll tap on continue for the calibration to begin. And the calibration is successful. I'll hit continue to go to my final of the five. I'll tap on yaw rate calibration. Come up with the same warning screen I saw earlier telling us what the calibration is applied to. And then I must be on a flat surface. The second warning screen telling me that I need to turn the steering wheel to the left or to the right 15 degrees and on a flat surface. And I'll go to the third and final instructions or warning page and tap on continue. And then I'll tap on continue again, and my calibration is successful. And I'll tap continue. And now I'm done with those five calibrations on the Pegasus. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the Genesis. Two. Once again, let's perform the same special tests on our Volvo XC90. We're going to use the Genesis this time, but the difference you'll see is in the operation with the Genesis. The same Test, steering angle, yaw rate, and lateral accelerometer are all located under anti-lock brake. I'm already at the anti-lock brake module testing procedures for the test menu for Genesis. So to begin our testing for calibration, we're going to scroll down to special tests. Once I get to special tests, I'll press enter and all five calibrations will be listed. Now we're going to go ahead and do the steering angle calibration. I'll press enter at that point and up will come in a moment our instructions page with the warning screen. You'll notice it gives you the same thing we saw earlier on both the Autobus and the Pegasus. It tells us that we're going to do dynamic stability and traction control module testing and this vehicle must be equipped with that DTSC module. We'll do the adaptive data strategy tests and the coding for each and every component. I'm going to press enter when we do, up comes another warning screen that tells us that we need to put the vehicle on a flat surface as well as turn the steering wheel 15 degrees either left or right. I'll press enter again. Up comes the same exact set of warnings and instructions and I'll press enter to continue the test. And now I've already turned the steering wheel. I've turned the key on of course and it's performing the calibration at this time. Once the calibration is done, it will say calibration successful. And there you have it. In a few seconds, the calibration was successful. So let's go ahead and press continue to do the next calibration. When I press enter, up will come our test menu. We'll scroll the yaw rate sensor. I'll press enter. Up comes the exact same warning instruction screen that tells you you're going to do some calibrations for the dynamic stability and traction control module, which will include steering angle, yaw rate, and accelerometer and, and longitudinal accelerometer. I'll press enter. It'll come up with the vehicle instructions in the XC90 warning and then I'll press enter and it'll give you the instructions page on how to turn the ignition key on, turn the steering wheel to the left or to the right 15 degrees and then the vehicle must be on a flat surface. I'll press enter. It'll start our calibration and now you have it. The calibration is successful. We'll press enter to move on again to our next calibration and I'm going to scroll down to lateral acceleration calibration. I'll press enter. Up comes the same warning screens. Warning screen number one. And then I'll press enter to go to warning screen number two. 
Then I'll press enter to go to instructions page number three. I'll press enter to begin my calibration. And in a few moments, my calibration will be successful. I'll press enter to go to the fourth calibration. I'll scroll down to longitudinal accelerometer calibration. Press enter. Up comes our first warning screen that tells us we are doing this test for dynamic stability and traction control module. I'll press enter to go to the next warning screen, which will tell us that we are doing the accelerometer, lateral accelerometer and the longitudinal accelerometer, as well as the yaw rate sensor and steering angle. I'll press enter for our instructions page, which will tell us that the vehicle must be on a flat level surface and that the steering wheel must be straight and then I'll turn it to 15 degrees to the left or to the right and then back to straight. Once again, it is back to straight and I'll turn the ignition key on. Press enter for the calibration to begin. In a few moments, our calibration will be successful. I'll press enter to go on to our fifth calibration. And now I'm going to scroll down to our fifth and final calibration with the Genesis pressure sensor 12 calibration. I'll press enter to go to our first warning screen, which tells us that we're again doing it for dynamic stability and traction control module and for the XC90. I'll press enter. Up will come the second warning screen that tells us we are doing the yaw control sensor as well as the steering angle that we've done all these. And I'll press enter to get our instructions telling us that we must be on a flat surface. The key must be on that the steering wheel must be straight and then I will turn it to a 15 degrees to the left or to the right and then back to straight and I'll press enter and our calibration will be started and completed successfully. I'll press enter to go back to my main menu. And now I've completed my steering angle calibration sensors under anti-lock brake for the XC90. In a few moments we're going to move on to our BMW and we'll do the similar test to that. Now let's do some testing with a BMW. First we'll use our Autoboss. Unlike the Volvo, BMW works completely different. We are going to do steering angle coding on this BMW just like I did with the Volvo, but it'll be slightly different test procedures. On the Volvo, I had to go to anti-lock brakes to that particular module to find the test. You'll notice that I have chassis here where anti-lock brakes will be listed, but unfortunately, or fortunately, our test is not located there. It's located under what's known as service functions. So I'm going to tap on service functions. I'll then tap on chassis. Now I've got chassis listed. And now it tells you wheel slip control system. And it now says adjust steering angle. Now when I tap on adjust steering angle, it will then take us to actually the adjustment page. So I'm going to tap on it and it's begin and gets ready looking for the actual module on the vehicle. It'll come up in a few moments with a quick set of instructions. And I'm now going to tap on yes because it tells us do you want to do this test and I said yes. And now it asks for me to physically make sure the wheels are perfectly straight. I'll tap on OK. It's communicating to the module. And now it has completed the test. You'll notice it gives you the concise test results telling you that the test has been completed and that the set steering wheel is centered to zero degrees. Much simpler to perform on the, than on the Volvo, much simpler. Not as a co comprehensive set of instructions and a fewer less buttons to push. So now we're going to move on to the Pegasus and perform the same test. We're going to test the BMW now using the Pegasus. There's a few things that are slightly different versus that of the Autoboss and completely different than that of the Volvo. I'm going to tap on ABS DSC or Dynamic Stability Control. When I tap on that, it'll now ask me for which controller version I am looking at. I'm going to use the one at the bottom, Dynamic Stability Control or DSC MK60. And then I'll tap on my OBD2 cable. And we're ready to begin our tests. To test, I'll go down to special tests, and you notice the first thing that comes up is steering angle calibration, and in parentheses number one. The parentheses number one means that I only have one test that I can perform. I'll tap on steering angle calibration, and now up again comes that same menu item, steering angle sensor calibration. I'll tap on it once. It'll populate my field 
and give me a set of instructions and it says make sure the vehicle is key on, engine's not running, and that the steering wheels are perfectly straight. I'll then tap on continue. It's going to populate my field again. Once it's populated, I'll hit calibrate and in a moment it will give us a countdown of timer and it says test complete. My calibration is now successful. I'll hit exit and I'm done. So let's move on to the Genesis. We just completed testing the BMW with our Pegasus. Now we're going to go ahead and do testing with the Genesis. You notice that the Genesis has a black screen. That's because we're running with a VGA out to your monitor so you can watch it live. The Genesis, so you understand, works the same as the Pegasus as far as selections go. Different than the Autoboss and on the BMW completely different than the Volvo. I'm going to go ahead and, and press enter at ABS and when I do, it's now going to come up with a screen asking us for Dynamic Stability Control MK60. That's the module I want to work with or the type that's in this vehicle. So I'll scroll down and I'll press enter. Now it asks me for which cable and I'm going to scroll down to my OBD2 cable on this particular vehicle and I'll press enter. At that point I'll go ahead and hook my smart cable up to the car. I'll press enter. Turn the ignition key on. It identifies the module successfully. I'll press the OK button and we're ready to begin. Now to test this vehicle and do the steering angle uh, recenter, I'm going to scroll down to special tests. I'll press enter and it'll come up with steering angle sensor. I'm going to go ahead and do the coding for the steering angle sensor by pressing enter. And in a moment, it's going to establish the vehicle's conditions and it's going to tell us that the key should be on, the engine not running, and we're ready to go. Now remember, the steering wheel must be straight ahead, pointing zero, zero, straight on a flat surface. To start the test, I'll press the calibration button. That's the soft key over to the far left. When I press the calibration button, it'll start my timer. It says, please wait. It's counting down. We're down at one second. Now we're at zero. And it says the test is complete. Now that I have completed the calibration successfully, I'll hit exit. And we're now done. Now we're going to do some testing with the Nissan using the Autoboss.